Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Photoshop and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I want to do today is show you how to create this floating pyramid, floating crystal effect within Adobe Photoshop. A very powerful effect as you can see, but a very easy thing for you to follow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you get that uh, top layer now and I'm just going to come to um, the bin option here and let's put that in the bin there like so. Okay, wonderful. Now I'm gonna zoom out a little bit there by pressing the shortcut command minus on the Mac or control minus on Windows. And I'm just gonna come through and uh, um, add a new layer. And using my polygonal lasso tool, I'm gonna to create a shape like that. Now I'd like to fill this with a color. So what I'm gonna do is press the shortcut shift backspace and let's use the content color of black. And if I press OK, like so, wonderful. Now we're going to deselect, which is Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. OK, so I'm going to add a brand new layer and I'm going to come through now and create another shape like so. Like so here, make sure that we're meeting our previous selection there. Wonderful. Same again, Shift Backspace. Let's fit it with black. OK, wonderful. And what we're going to do is deselect Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. And let's add a new layer, another layer here, like so. And we're going to come through and just create another selection similar, like so. And let's come through here, fit it with black. Okay, wonderful. Now we're going to deselect Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. Now, what I need to do is duplicate this layer uh, three times. So we're going to do that by pressing the shortcut Command J, Command J, Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows. Now these need to be on top of every single shape here. Like so, wonderful. And do we have another one spare? There we do, fantastic. And now what I need to do is create a clipping mask. So I'm gonna use my shortcut option on a Mac or Alt on Windows to create my clipping mask there. Let's do that on every single layer of the images. Wonderful. Now using your move tool, let's go back to our top layer here create this um, image here and let's come through and let's move that like so take that one there perfect and what we we'll do is we we'll come down to the bottom one here top one there sorry and then we're going to move that a little bit like so wonderful now what I'm going to do is use our shift key to select everything except the top uh, the bottom layer and then we're going to use a shortcut command e on mac or control e on windows to merge fantastic and now i'd like what i'd like to do is apply a little drop shadow to this so if i double click on the layer uh, on the layer here we'll bring up our layer style and we've got our drop shadow option here like so just to manipulate and change maybe bring the opacity down a little bit like so okay and there you have it guys that's how you create a floating crystal floating pyramid within Adobe Photoshop. If you're interested in finding out more about the courses that we offer as a school, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also as well, there are recordings that are coming out on a weekly basis, so please make sure you take a look. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.